Hey everybody, it's Tyler with Worship Innovation and I've got a great video planned for y'all today showing you some of the new functionality in the brand new ProPresenter 7.1 live streaming update. So we did a video previously talking about just how to get set up live streaming in ProPresenter and I talked about in that video uh, how you could very potentially even use ProPresenter as a video switcher instead of a presentation software. And after just a few minutes of playing around with this and understanding how the software works, I was able to figure out how to essentially turn ProPresenter 7 into a video switcher. And I think this is really neat, something that's gonna benefit a lot of people because now you don't have to go out and buy a video switcher. You don't have to go out and buy video switching software. You can just do it all live right from in ProPresenter. So there's a couple things that you're going to need to have set up, and I want to talk you through all this from the ground up. In my screen configurations here, I have two outputs set up for my live stream. Now, this is if I'm just using ProPresenter as a video switching software. This does not work to be sending ProPresenter as a, uh, like, running your full screens, like for your front of house and doing your live stream. This is just simply only taking video inputs and switching them. So some of your video inputs could very well be other copies of ProPresenter sending in through NDI or something like that. So here I've got a program output, my live stream PGM output. That's actually getting sent through NDI because that's what's legitimately being sent out. Um, or this would be what's actually getting live streamed from ProPresenter as well as I've got a live stream preview output that's just a placeholder. And then I have a multi-view stage display set up. In my video input layers, this is where I would select all of the different cameras that I had available. So say I had something like a Blackmagic Deck Link Quad, um, I could do four video inputs and select everything from the Deck Link card, whatever it is. I just have one because I have my webcam hooked up, so we're just gonna deal with one video input layer, but this scales to however many video inputs you can get into your computer. Then what I did was I created two identical uh, presentations that have all of my different video input layers on them. So one that is video input one, another that would, would have like video input one, two, three, four, but right now I just have one. And then all I did was I duplicated that exact same thing and called it preview. So video input preview, video input program. They're the exact same thing. Then when I place that in my setup here, you'll notice I have both of them, but one is being sent to the announcements layer and that is the program output. It's being sent to the announcements layer. And that's what's actually going to go out on my live stream program output. So it's being sent out on the announcements layer, but my preview is not. This allows me in my looks to set up something really cool. So this first one is my live stream program. The second one is my live stream preview. So you can see I've got it to where only the announcements layer is coming through on my program layer and only the slide and media layers are coming through on the preview layer. These are neither, neither of the video input layers are enabled because I'll show you how that works here in a second. Now, if you were wanting to do lyrics over NDI or something, you would probably need to enable the props layer uh, in order to get that to overlay on top of your video, but we're not going to be doing that today. This is just the basics of how to set this up. So I've got my looks set up. The announcements layer is showing on one, slide and media is showing on the other. Then what I'm gonna do in both of these is on the video input, I'm gonna go to video input action behavior and select foreground for both of these. Now, what I did to keep this simple was I literally just did all of my configurations on this, duplicated it, and then I had my, my duplicate. Then all I did was take the video input pre uh, program, send it to the announcements layer, and have my preview not sent to the announcements layer. The last little set setup that I did 
was in the stage editor. I set up a stage display that has my preview screen monitoring on the right and my program screen monitoring, or sorry, preview on the left, program on the right. So you can see on the fill here, I've got my screen preview, live stream preview, and here I've got my screen preview live stream program. Then all I did was set that to my stage display over here to have that same layout. So now I'm looking at this layout here in the top right. When I select my preview, you can see on the left, this is what I'm previewing. When I want that to go to program, I just select that input on the program and now it's there. If I want to switch to something else on the program or on the preview, I can do that. Then when I want it to go to program, I just target it towards the announcements layer and click it again. Now you could essentially, if you, you know, built this out, you could have duplicates of everything, one being sent to the announcements layer, one being sent to the, uh, you know, the standard media layer. But this allows you to easily switch between all of your different inputs directly from ProPresenter, essentially using it as a video switcher software. Now, this probably doesn't have all of the same functionalities as a standard video switcher, all right? But if you're on a budget and you want a very simple way to switch between video sources, you can use ProPresenter and you can live stream those out directly. All you have to do then is start your capture once you've got all that set up and now you can easily switch between your program and your preview and go about your day. Like it's super awesome, super powerful way, uh, great functionality that's been added into ProPresenter 7 with this new update. So for some of you guys, this is going to be, I don't know, maybe something you'll never do. But for others, this is something that might revolutionize the way that you're running your setup. So hopefully this has been helpful. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video and learned something useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you can see when we upload future content. Until I see you guys next time, keep on innovating.